morning. Welcome back to Ohio Farm. Mid-December. So men have melted. No snow on the ground. I don't know if there's much to do. I was keeping an eye on used equipment. The only thing that came up was the uh, one of those electric forklifts. The one that has the high lift boom on or whatever. The high lift mechanism on it. But yeah, uh, I didn't really want to get into the electric business. I would like some kind of pallet fork attachment or vehicle to use over at the West Place with the chickens. Matter of fact, let's go check them out right now. Drive over to the West Place, take a look, see what's going on over there. So we sold all of our grain during the first part of December. We made some pretty good money and we used that money, invested it, and bought the West Place over here. So we own that building, the building and the land. We now have access to the chickens. We have 15, I think, in there. 14 laying hens and one rooster. And we've only got about $75,000, which is not great because if used, good used equipment comes available, we're not going to be able to afford it. That's interesting. I left the. Didn't realize I left the Massey Ferguson over here. All right. So the chickens have not ate a lot of feed, but we do have our first eggs going. Look at that. We've got 22 eggs. Not sure. Yeah, it'll take a little while to fill that pallet up. So, hmm. Take a look at the contract board. Probably won't be any contracts available. Let's take a look at the used machinery. Probably won't be anything we can use or afford. Uh, I had thought about maybe doing snow removal if it started snowing for the county. But uh, we've got no snow yet, so no need to worry about it. thought about oh I could return this okay so let's take a look at contracts real quick nothing Used equipment. That's a forklift I was talking about. It's slurry tanker, slurry spreader. It's got the distributor on it. 
or you can attach something to it on a three point. And the wind roar that we already have. Okay. Uh, so much, not much to do. Take this back. How much do we spend on that? Not much, really. I like it. I'd like to buy one, but they cost like $24,000. What does it cost me daily to keep that thing? So it costs 24000 to buy. I guess, I guess it's costing me 240 a day. I'll keep it one more day and I'll take it back. I think I could take this front loader attachment, keep the Massey Ferguson over there, have the bucket, buy some pallet forks, and then I'd be able to deal with the chickens. And I could use the bucket to feed them. And then I could use the pallet forks to move the pallets of eggs. But really, that's about it. Hmm. Keep an eye on things, and if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Whoa. We'll see you in a while. Okay, it's uh, later in the day. I told you I'd get back with you if anything of interest happened. And I was taking a look at uh, what used machinery was available and see what we found. A forage mixer. So it's the smallest one, which is probably fine for our use. Uh, since we're using the small bales, uh, that's probably okay. It had the larger bales. It'd fill, or if we had the larger bales, we wouldn't be able to adjust the mix as easily because of the volume of the bales. Oh, so let's just get this over with quickly. Should we put a plate on it? It's not something we really want to haul over the road, so I'm going to say no. If we get in trouble for it later, we can always do something about it. Okay, so we might as well just go pick that up and... Take it over to the West Place. So earlier I was over there and I was thinking about just getting the cows.
just getting the cows already and feeding them hay. So this actually works out pretty well. Because I looked at the... Oh, sorry, a little tired. I looked at the bunker silo. You know what? Since we're going, let's take this back. I like it, but I can't really justify the expense of hanging on to it. Looks good here and sitting on the farm, but... We don't particularly need it anymore. And we really can't afford it, so we'll just take it back. Okay, so I was, I was talking about something. I don't know, I forgot already. Is that talking about silage? No, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, I think I was talking about it like the bunker silo. It was like 80% fermented. I guess we could just use the bucket on the front loader to put it into the feed wagon. We'll be able to make TMR. If we can make TMR, we might as well be able to get the cows. And start the cows going. Oh, and I think when I was talking about equipment that we needed to get, I think I said manure spreader. We have that Brantner power push trailer that, oh man. We have that Brantner power push trailer that we can modify into a manure spreader. It's good. Tailgating me here. We'll let him go around. the store there is our feed problem is what was the horsepower well, I think it's going to be too much for the small Massey Ferguson that we have It's a shame. I like that field bin. It's pretty cool. Okay, we'll take it to our house and Do any necessary maintenance on it there. Wow. 42%. That's quite a bit.
this should suit our purposes. No reason we don't get the cows already. Oh, we're gonna need something to haul milk in. At some point it's as well. If we don't get too many, it shouldn't be too much of a concern right away. Look at all their cows. be like a little boutique dairy. I'm back at the farm now just to do some maintenance on this mixer wagon. I think we're close enough here. Might as well give the fast track what it needs. actually costs more than that. Let's take a look at um, this thing in the store. Okay, here it is, new. This is 29.5. So it requires 90 horsepower. And I I think the uh, little Massey's like 75 or something. Just take it over. See if maybe we can fit it in the shed where we're storing the bales. So I was briefly tempted to get the cows now and feed them hay, but the more I thought about it, I realized that the hay that we put in there will just sit there and not get ate once we put total mix ration in there. So it'd be a waste of kind of that hay because they'd never get to it. They'd eat the total mix ration first. So I think we'll wait till we can actually make total mix ration. Wow, this thing is big. So no, I don't think it's going to fit in there. It's interesting. It's the wagon's bigger than I thought it was going to be.
so yeah, slurry spreaders are the next thing that we got to keep our eyes open for. This is working out pretty good. Aside from the fact that we don't have a lot of money right now. Okay, I think that's in there good. Yeah, I got it back far enough. It's kind of over out of the way. Getting crowded over here already. I was thinking about a fermentation silo. That would be cool too. They're pretty pretty sizable though. I wonder if I could fit one like right here. I was looking at like the small stave. Hang on. I think I got it loaded. Let's take a look. I didn't. I had this one loaded. That's pretty big. That's bigger than I would probably want. I'll have to go look and see if I... I have to go look and see if I can get that small stave one. And then this it could use for corn to make silage. Help menu. This is almost ready. Could arguably get the cows before the end of mid-December. This quote-unquote day. So it'll hold 45. Hmm. It's what, 3.30 now? Starting to lose daylight. I'm gonna go get the mass here. I'm gonna go get the bucket and the front motor attachment. But yeah, what I need is a tractor that's got about 100 horsepower. So I'll keep my eyes open for that. This little guy has only got about 75. Did I buy this? I must have. Okay. Which shoulder should I look over this one?
coming. Clear now. So see the bucket will hold a thousand liters and each bale is 600. So when we make the total mix rations, we'll want silage and hay at like a one to one ratio. And then we can pad it out with straw. Do we need a straw blower? I wonder, I don't have a lot of straw collected. Um, hmm. so that holds fourteen. I'll see if I can get away with using the Massey Ferguson on that. I might just be able to do it. I wonder how much longer that'll take. Got this over here. I'm out. Well, I'll park it over here. Cause I want to see if we can use the Massey Ferguson to run the mixing wagon. So let's see, a thousand. Two bales would be 1,200. Three bales would be 1,800. Four. So three. Five bales would be three. So five hay bales and three buckets of silage and then throw in a couple of straw bales for good measure that might be a good mix I think it'll be very long. I'll wait about 30 minutes and check it again. It's almost 30 minutes later.
No. <laughs> Just wishful thinking. Let's wait till five. Okay, not quite five, but how about now? Nope. <laughs> Okay, it's done now. It's 5.15 though, it's dark already. I think we'll just wait till tomorrow. We'll wait for till tomorrow on that. So we'll call it a day. Might have more work to do tomorrow. Do the snow clearing for the county maybe, and then get the cows in. I'll need a straw blower. Or if I can just use bales. Come back and do it again tomorrow. Okay, good morning. Oh man, I just saw that I got charged vehicle leasing costs. I forgot to actually go and I took it back, but I didn't return the uh, field bin. So I got charged $80, and when we were looking at it, game day yesterday, earlier in this episode, it was saying $240 a day per work day. So it just charged me $80. We're running three-day months. So I think the game considers, for leasing purposes, each month the day fee. Because 240 divided by 3 would be 80. So let me take care of that quick and return that before we get charged again tomorrow. Before I, get, before I forget again. I was going to do that and I... There were two things I was going to do before I switched over days, and I forgot to do both of them. And the only one I know is the one that just cost me money. I don't know what the other one was. All right, let me take care of that real quick. All right, so it's, it's returned now so eighty dollars ain't gonna break the bank of course right now with only fifty five thousand seven hundred and five every petty's counting right now um while i was returning that i noticed that uh something came up and used machinery again so i'll show you manure spreader it's got a 24 meter spread width which is nice our Brantner trailer will cost us $20,000 to convert into a manure spreader and then it will have the same capacity as this one 25 cubic meters uh, and less spread width but I guess 
I don't know how much we paid for it originally. But we're not going to buy that. That would take every penny we have left. So it didn't snow yet. So that's good. I'm still thinking about working out a deal with the county to uh, do snow removal for them. And so we don't have any snow yet. So let's go get some cows. What do you think? We'll take the Lazard over. Which is going to be positive thinking that the little Massey will be able to power that forage wagon. I also remembered a little trick I was doing in FS19 on my Brazilian map for straw. I didn't have a straw blower. What I did is I used my feed mixer to shred the straw bale and put it in as manure. So I could maybe do that. this right up here by the house so it's out of the way we can get in and out with the machinery check the chickens they're down to 703 so they'd take another 50 liters would be all so it's been another day we had 22 eggs when we checked yesterday we got 50 now so it looks like they produce about 25 eggs a day visually it looks the same um doesn't say does it say liters doesn't i'm not sure when it would be full i think they're like thousand liter pallets or something like that when you go to sell them but i'm not 100 percent sure on that So the, the bunker silo is completely fermented. We've got bales. There's no reason we can't get the cows. So I think we're gonna do that. First things first, I'm gonna check the weather just to see when we can expect snow. Don't know if it'll accumulate or not. It's like 10 o'clock. And pretty much the rest of the till six o'clock, that will probably accumulate. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the cows. And we'll take care of them and then we'll call this an episode. We'll probably come back next episode later in the day and then uh, maybe do some snow removal in that episode in December. I think it's going to snow in January as well, which might be more, but we can get paid for it. What I'm thinking about doing is taking the government subsidy municipal sign, throwing it down and call that the payment for clearing the roads for the county. I don't know. Seems seems fair. If it's too much money, we'll give it back. If it's too little, well, we got a bad contract. <laughs> okay, so cows. I want to go with Holsteins. And the calves would normally be born by in October. Maybe we'll get some more in the when the spring calving comes around. So let's get Holsteins that are a year old. We can hold 45. One's going to cost us almost $1,200. So 10 would be like 12,000. How much money we got? 55. That'd take us down to like 40.
I'm gonna get six. How about that? Where is the trigger? It's here. It's like, there we go. All right. So we're going to get six cows. There is no animal dealer on this map. So the option of going and picking them up ourselves doesn't even exist. Yep. Done. All right. So we've got six cows in here and nothing else. Hello, cows. So, first things first, straw. So we're going to grab the wagon here. I'm not even going to put a straw bale in it. I'll, I'll grab a couple of bales and see if I can throw them in the bucket. And we'll take them over and see if we can put a bale in. So, straw bale. in the bucket. So that should be 1,200 liters of straw. Oh, we're going to take the... I was going to leave the for, uh, forge mixer there, but I might need it to shred the straw. So which side's our door on? Our door's on the left side. So we'll come in this side. Straw bale, huh? I'm gonna pull the triggers up real quick, just for a second. Okay, interactive zone markers are on. This is where the feed's gonna go, and it doesn't want to take it. So that's animal dialogue box. That's for the manure, and that's for the slurry so all right so next we're going to try this yep so this will work let's put 700 liters in that's bedding And then let's check the animal menu. Okay, so we're in the animal menu here. Straw. 700 liters is practically nothing. <laughs> okay. So we want to produce manure. And that's more important to us right now then padding the total mixed ration because you can make total mixed ration with just um, with just the hay and the silage
So we got 1,400 liters. Let's just see how far it's tipping that bar right now. I'm thinking easily we could throw another 10 straw bales in this thing. And it would not even... start to make an impact. I wonder if I should just make that road go around. So we're going to throw some straw bales in this and empty it. I throw it over. Yep. I don't know my own strength. <laughs> it's one. Two. Three. Oh, I'll throw one over. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I was going to put in another ten. But we'll just put in ten total. That should be, what, 7,000 liters of straw? See, we'll see how this looks. So let's take a look at the animal menu. Okay, we can easily put another 10 in. You see right now it's probably going to take a couple extra wagons of feed too. So let's let's start on that. Let's put five of these in. One. Two, three, four. 
four and five. We're going to do this just so we can get some food in there and get them start producing uh, milk and slurry and I suppose the manure they need feed food too as well as the bedding. So 3,000 liters fills this up 25%. Oh yeah, it's 12,000 liter capacity in it. So we'll put in three buckets of silage. So I think if we push circle, it should open the bunkers out. Nope. All right. Info. Help window. There we go. Open silo. L3. There we go. Oh, let's leave this open so we can see our mix ratio too. Concrete lip. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, I might need a weight. I'm gonna be careful when I. Wow! No! 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 I'm gonna need a weight. There's no doubt about it. Oh. I might be able to, as long as I don't move fast, I might get away with it for now. We'll definitely need to get a weight later though. Don't want to break. Oh boy. No, 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 no. All right, that's as high as it goes. There we go. All right, I think it's now total mix ration. smoothly and I, come on there we go Right, there we go. Sorry, dump it in. All right, one more. Sure, why I did that. 
definitely need to get a weight though. bucket okay so you see those bars there I got 50 50 mix of silage and um, hay and it's happy with that so you could throw in some straw and pad it but we don't have that much straw right now and we want it for the bedding so we won't worry about it we got plenty of silage doing okay on the hay we got this grass field here we can certainly get more. Uh, so we should be okay for now. Uh, in the future, though, we can get more straw off the fields and do straw bales. So we're going to get some food in here. Oh, the last thing on there also is... Uh, why, is it, why isn't the trigger popping up, though? Maybe it's further down. You can also put, uh, I think, it, like mineral feed in there. Okay, now why don't you want to eat cows? There it is. Found it. Okay. Okay, so the cows have food now. Check the the animal menu. All right, so we can do this probably three or four more times before they're going to be happy. Uh, we're definitely going to need to get a weight before we do that. Uh, we got cows and they are eating. So awesome. So thanks for visiting us here on the Ohio farm. I think we're going to end it here, call it an episode. And uh, come back, we'll still be in December. Maybe we'll do some snow removal. I'm going to do uh, the rest of the feeding and straw off camera. It'll just be more of what you just saw. Uh, but I'm going to get that weight first before I get started on that. So, again, uh, thanks for coming back. Come see us again here on the Ohio farm, where we are now a dairy operation. Thanks for watching.